Hello everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome back to RimWorld Call of Cthulhu. So, as you can see, a bit more has changed since the last time we played. I basically just finished my um, bathroom additions to all these homes, and got my hot water tank, sewage treatment, and immersion heater up and running. Also, downloaded and installed another mod that was recommended by Blazing Spirit. It was recommended a while ago, but I guess I forgot about it, unfortunately, because it would have been very useful if I had had it earlier. And it is a water power mod. Basically, what this lets me do is it lets me build underwater, um, how, what do you call them? Uh, power conduits and these turbines that can only be built in deep running water and if they provide a decent amount of power I actually want to get them built as quickly as possible because I would really really love it if my water turbines were actually um, able to produce you know at least similar energy to these chem fuel generators because I would really fucking love to not have to worry about you know constantly producing chem fuel and refueling these bastards like if i could tear those bastards down i would so power output fluctuates is what i'm seeing okay but it looks like it fluctuates from 13 to 2000 okay and how much do one of these fuckers provide 2100 Honestly, the fluctuating doesn't bother me all that much. So I would actually like you guys to build the rest of these. And I think I'm going to build more of them. Because why not? They can only build, be built in deep water, which I can't really utilize any damn way. So why not build a couple more of these fuckers? Like even up here. See? Shit like that. That could provide us with a fair amount of fucking power. I like it. Let's run the power conduit there. Then the underwater conduit there. Then there. Then there. Then there. Hey, that was convenient. That all worked out really well. Well, maybe. Actually, I don't know if it did. Because <laughs> I don't know that I can actually reach all those places I tried to build a power conduit. Well, let's hope everybody gets to building. Each of these producing 24, 17... So it's not a steady, well, it is steady power that I don't have to fuel, but it's not always guaranteed to get me the same amount of power every time. Let's see if we can't get an underwater power conduit like that, yeah. That looks like something I can do. Then we have this over here, which we can just bring down to there. Okay, you chose not to do what I told you to do. Fine. Okay, so come on guys, get all these underwater conduits built. Hey Rathos, can you can you finish working on the turbine please? It'd be most appreciated. Yeah, I like the idea of having the renewable power. Well, the sustainable power without having to refuel shit constantly. So yeah, a big thank you to Blazing Spirit for letting me know about this mod. That's a that's a really fucking useful mod, honestly. Honestly, this mod would have been completely useful would have been completely worth downloading and useful uh, and using and it's exceedingly useful just for the fucking and I said useful a whole hell of a lot there. I'm babbling. Um, this mod would have been more than worth downloading and using just for the... Yeah, nobody can reach that. 
Actually, somebody can. Damn it. Anyway, um, yeah, this mod would have been more than worth it just for the be the ability to build conduits across the water. So, come on, guys, make all those conduits. Let's connect our shit to the power grid, please. Leave. that links the entire power grid together which means I could probably come through here and destroy the chem fuel generators which I kind of like to do somebody come down here and prioritize this and then you still don't get to take a break you get to prioritize building this one power conduits. You can just go like that. That's good. Get all that shit built. That's beautiful, actually. So we should be able to keep this whole place fully stock pot stocked in power. Like how much is this providing? 13 to 24. Yeah. I, I really like this. It means I didn't have to spend a lot of time researching and building, uh, researching the steam geyser drill, and then geothermal power, and then setting aside a lot of space for um, the geothermal power generators. Instead, this lets me um, produce a whole hell of a lot of power in a space that I can't utilize much anyway, the deep water. Now granted I can build bridges and I can build boardwalks and all that. Uh, water power 1.1 update, new features, uh, da, 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 da. designed to generate from the ocean, yeah we don't have an ocean. Okay, sure, thank you for that. Anyway, as I was saying, um, you know, this lets me use a space that I can't really use except to maybe build bridges and boardwalks. And it's very unobstructive. I apparently already had the research required to build it. Yeah, no, I love it. Really good addition. We are building the last two generators right now. Yeah, no, I wrote this. Go ahead. Let's rip these fuckers down. Those are all resources we can use elsewhere. There we go. Beautiful. Say goodbye to those fuckers. So much power. Apparently we're producing... Well, thought we'd be producing more than that, honestly. Are the batteries... No, the batteries are good. They are all fully stored. Okay, stop. So, you know, as we expand down deep, farther down this river, I might put in a few more. Or hell, I actually already can up here. How about we do that? I mean, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't take full advantage of this. Seems like a fantastic opportunity. Okay. Then I think this will just link everything as is. Yeah, no, that's that's good. We'll leave all those up there because that can just provide a steady stream of really good power. Oh, also we finished the fertilized soil and then turned it into plowed soil. So now our crops grow much, much faster. All right, so we've learned machining. Have I used the queue? Yes, the queue system. Nice thing about the research mod is that it lets me queue up stuff. And I'm using Research Pal for anybody interested. And I just told my researcher to basically take her time and work her way through all these basic uh, research projects. Because it is all 
stuff that she'll be able to research very quickly. Yeah, like that. And then resource plans. And a basic radio. Yeah, this way she, our researcher, which I believe our primary researcher is Cat, will spend all her time, there won't be any downtime, you know, on her, when it, well, at least no downtime when she's at the research bench waiting for me to give her a new project. More of these fuckers. What are you? Dark Young. Can you guys, you know, just, for my sake, stay the fuck down there? Good God, you guys are disturbing. Just don't come near my base. Just stay the fuck down there. We'll all be happier for it. Yeah, I am actually almost giddy about how much I'm enjoying all this fucking uh, turbine power. I'm just glad I had the resources to build it all. Well, I hope I have the resources. Watch me actually run out now. Hmm. So we have our tailoring shit going. We have this. What other... That's right. We need a house because we have another colonist here who eh, is kind of out of work. Not out of work, uh, who's sleeping on the floor for the most part. Come on. That's what I like to see, just build this shit. Mm. Fucking awesome. All right, now. Food is running out very quickly, but thank God for this new mod. Not our new mod, sorry, our new crop area because we will have food shortly. <laughs> it's been a struggle. Jesus, it's been a struggle, especially them damn bears. But thankfully that got resolved. Okay. Just trying to think of how I want to expand because I do want to get this shit done, but it's dangerous out there. <laughs> it is exceedingly dangerous out there. Hmm. Yeah, Yulia is the one who doesn't have any place to live, so she's probably the one I should start building stuff for. But I should also build go structure, furniture, this. What's the difference? That's that design. Okay, as far as I can tell, there isn't a difference. But I want to put some outdoor lighting. And this time, let's see if it'll actually let us do it without the game lagging, you know, to hell and back. Because that's what happened last time. It sucked. Oh, we have such a nice power surplus. Might also be time to start building turrets now that I think about it. And I'm still behind. I need a hospital bed shortly. The only reason I remembered that is, for whatever reason, we have a stray piece of medicine here in the middle of the floor. Hey, Aratha, somebody? I'd like to see this get finished, because I kind of want to know if it's if that was the cause of our slowdown. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, let's take a look at our power. Tattered apparel, and yeah. Yeah, everything's connected. Beautiful. Okay, now we just need the crops to come in before everybody starves to death. How much fucking... I have a lot of herbal medicine. I think it might be time. How much... Jesus, I got a lot of both. Okay. We... As soon as this crop comes in and this crop comes in, we're turning those into food production. There's just no, objectively, no reason to have it, you know, 
the other crops right now. It just makes no sense. Especially now with all the medicine I just harvested. Psh. It's unnecessary. Hmm. What do we want it to be? Uh, what about wheat? Can be milled into flour. So that sounds like it's gonna be like a 50 fucking step thing to make food out of it. But I've never done it before, so let's find out. Somebody make me wheat. Okay, so the lamp is up and it's not actually causing any lag. Excellent. So I want to put one here, here, kind of at the intersections and any spot that just seems like it might be too dark. I think just to be a nice touch to put it on, maybe not there. I was going to say next to our doorways and then I remembered, hey, our doorways are that doorway is, uh, if I put it there, it will be blocking off or risking getting it shot by a dam uh, in the next raid because of the embrasures. Ooh, so much progress, especially with the power. The power generation is fucking awesome. Right now, I'm basically just trying to plot ways to come out here and build these walls as quickly as humanly possible. Hmm. Yeah. It's going to be rough. It really is. Yeah, I guess one thing we could do we could, well, uh, beyond, oh shit, did the bears murder the fucking dark, <laughs> okay, okay then, uh, Yulia, oh, you're taking a bath, I was gonna say, why the fuck are you naked, okay, so I'm gonna unlock this and take a risk, Hey, Rathas. Can you guys come down here and prioritize some shit for me? Nope. Oh, you're hunting a snow hare. How hungry are you? I've learned synth thread. Okay, everybody's going to go to sleep here in a moment. Oh, I would love it if you guys got this shit done while all those creatures were... Prioritize working on the wall, dude. Prioritize working on the embrasure. Well, there's a lot of bad shit going on. Termite, can you turn around? Get the fuck out of there. Now. Termite, please. Hey, Arathas, how about... But you come down here and provide covering fire. You know how cool that would be? Quickly. Quickly. Open that fucking door. Oh, thank God. Can you hit him? What the fuck are you shooting at him with? All right. Undraft. Oh, you guys are doing that. Fuck's sake. So, Termite, how are you? Ah, you're scratched. Okay, go to bed. And I will have Kirchen treat you. Oh, boy. What's burning to death? Is that like a bobcat? What the fuck is that? I mean, I gave it a shot. I mean, it didn't fucking end well, but I gave it a shot. That's gonna be risky every fucking time, I think. 
But little by little, I think we can get that done. Like, what time is it? It's 5 a.m.? Okay. I'm gonna let everybody sleep. And then the following night, the next night that we can... Holy shit, we have a lot of... We have a lot of animals to train. God damn. Anyway, like I was saying, one thing that I want to do is, you know, every night just send out and try to make a little bit more progress on this and then run like hell back home. I mean, this isn't going to block the bears entirely. This is only going to fucking block the bears from the south. It's this one right here that will finish blocking off the enemy. And that one's going to be kind of difficult. Good lord. Whew, we nearly lost termite. That, that sucked. I think I need to turn this into a medical bed for now. And have termite rest until she's healed. Uh, that's not resting until you're healed, dumbass. Okay. Waiting for... The fuck? I didn't lock that door. Okay. It's almost sundown. Go to sleep, bear. Prioritize working on this. Prioritize working on this. Hurry up. Everybody who can. Come down here and do some work. I swear to God. Uh, Yulia. Cat, get your asses back down here. There is no sleeping. You guys can all sleep in the goddamn morning. Back to work. Back to goddamn work. Ah, how'd you fail making that dude? Ha <laughs> ha! Yulia, no. No, no. No, no, no. Why is your construction skill so horrible right now? This is making very quick progress. This is going to be kind of a bitch. Uh, reason this one's going to be a bitch and a half is I have to build the br I have to build the bridges and then I got to replace them with fucking boardwalks. That's just going to take fucking ever. This down here at least is not going to be too bad. Okay, is everybody in the base? I sure as hell hope so. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Who are we missing? An escape pod. Well, I think something might eat you. And you're a pyro, so no. I don't want anything to do with you. Don't need that nonsense in my base right now. Where's Cat? Yulia. Yeah. So all our people should be waking up as the sun goes down, and we can send all our people down to uh, do even more shit. Possibly even finish this wall tonight. And that would be fucking amazing. Okay. Sun is down. Everybody, sure, colored lights, whatever. Everybody, and I do mean every damn buddy, needs to get down here and construct this. Okay. 
Whoa, Kirchen. Prioritize this shit. That's what I figured. Eventually, somebody was going to... Can somebody get that bear, please? Somebody? There we go. Hey, Arathus? Your left foot got torn off. Your left thumb is destroyed. You are going to die in 15 hours if you do not get to a hospital bed. Okay. Get to damn hospital bed now. I'm sorry. What are those animals doing? Are you... Hey, guys. Don't do that. Right, we need to get in there and lock the door quickly. We can't afford another one of those, and we can't afford to lose any more of the uh, any more of the dogs. Okay, termite. Treat him. Not injured. Fuck you, mean not injured. The bear's not injured. Fucking treat Arathas. That medicine and get your ass back down here. Okay. Good God. Okay, so Rathus is healing just fine now. But holy crap, that fucking bastard bear. Whew. But hey, at least now we know how we're going to prioritize finishing this wall. It should not be that bad uh, from here on out. But... Who knows? We'll have to wait and see how it turns out. But either way, I am all out of time for today, so thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of actions of those actions that suits you today. With that being said, I'll see you next time for more RimWorld Call of Cthulhu, and hopefully, if I don't finish it off camera, the completion of these walls so our people can actually expand in a way that does not end up with all, all of us getting violently fucking murdered by bears. And hopefully get some new colonists so we can actually become a community rather than just being called the fucking wanderers all the time. <laughs> or what, what do they actually call us? It's on the save game. New arrivals, that's what they fucking call us. So yeah, hopefully we get enough people to stop being new arrivals and can actually name the colony. I don't think it's ever taken me this long to get to that point before. But hey, we've been murdered and killed and eaten a lot since this started, so... Yeah, nice to be making progress. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks again for watching.